Hello, um, I would like to share with you how to um, find the composition of two function in here and find the domain of uh, the composition function. So we have f compound g, that means f of g of x, right? Yeah, so we're gonna do like that. So wherever you see x in the function right here, you replace by g of x, which is this one right here. So I'm gonna write equal to f, and then I do um, over here, I can do parenthesis, but instead write that, I can write um, x over four, and then plus five, right? So that would be my function over here. So let me put this one in here, then you see it no more looking way right here. You see that one? Yeah, it's kind of like that. So wherever I see x in f right here, I can replace this. Now, but what is function f? Function f is square root of whatever inside here. So therefore, this one equal to square root. You say sqrt, and then you're gonna type over here gonna be um, x over four, and then uh, plus five. So that's what you do over there. So let me put this together in this way. So you see the one like that. You did like that. So you're done. If anything, you can simplify, but uh, if don't have that, so you're gonna put like that. So you can put the answer in here. That would be uh, equal to, you have square root right here and you do um, X over four and you can out here plus five. So that's plus five. So that's what your function, just replace, huh? All right, so I submit, so I should have that part correct right there, right here, yes, okay. So now we're going to do the next one. Um, so we find the domain. Remember the domain of the function first, you have to look at the domain of the inside, which is this case will be all real numbers. So therefore we don't have to worry about anything here. And now, and then you look at the last one right here. So you're going to take over here. That means we have square root. So whatever inside square root had to be uh, non-negative. That means uh, I have over here, that means x uh, divided by four, and then plus five, this thing have to be greater or equal to zero, right? Because square root, you cannot take it negative number. So that's what you have to do right there. Have to be like that. It have to be greater or equal to zero. I have this one right here. We have greater, greater or equal to zero. Yeah, so I have like that. So from here, I have to solve for x, right? So I'm gonna subtract five both sides. So I will have over here, that would be x a greater or equal, I mean, x over four. Have to be greater or equal to negative five. So I have subtract five, I have that. And then, let me see here, I put this here for you guys to see it. No more way look, no more look right here. Yes, that's way. So I want to get x alone. So I multiply both sides by Four, so I will have over here will be x a um, greater and greater and equal to multiply both side by four, so I have equal to negative twenty, right? So that would be my answer over here uh, for that part. Um, now they want the answer in interval notation, that meaning over here you will have a, a number line like this, right? Like this here. So here in negative 20 right here, this is negative 20, right? Negative 20 right here, yeah, okay. And U1 is greater than, so that means you shade all the way to over here. That's all the part that you shade right here, including the part right here. So this one would be a dot, right? So therefore I take all the number from negative 20 to this side right here. That means I include in 20, huh? So therefore over here, my answer over here, I'm gonna do it would be the bracket right here and then negative 20 and all the way number to the right. That's the infinity that I have right here. Yeah. So that would be my answer um, that I have right here. Yes. So I submit this one. So I should have my correct answer. I hope it helped.